I appreciate uh, this invitation to speak, and I applaud the work of CARE specifically in combating poverty, hunger, and disease in this world. CARE has a long history of advocating for the poor, feeding the hungry, tending to the sick. In particular, I want to thank all of you for your support of the Luger Casey Global Food Security Act, which is very much a part of our agenda. As we contemplate the direction of the United States in a time of extreme economic uncertainty, we must remind ourselves that calamities such as hunger and disease have their own timetables. They do not wait for convenient political circumstances. In fact, they usually intensify when economic times such as now are the most difficult. I've been particularly concerned about the severe warning signs that indicate global food supplies may be an increasing risk over the course of the next few decades, quite apart from this year. In 2008, the number of people living with chronic hunger reached an estimated 923 million persons in our world, with a global population projected to exceed 9 billion persons by the year 2050. The world's farmers must double agricultural production to meet growing demand. Many farmers in the developing world have to do so in spite of degraded soil, changing weather patterns due sometimes to climate change, deforestation, and primitive farming techniques. Even when it's become clear that increasing agricultural productivity is vital to raising incomes of the poor and meeting future demand for food, the world's aid donors have cut back on agricultural assistance. In the 1980s, for example, the United States allocated 20 percent of its foreign aid budget to agriculture. Today, that figure is just 3 percent. In Africa, the United States spent 10 times more in food shipments in 2007 than it did in helping farmers increase their productivity on the ground in Africa. If hunger were considered a disease, it is clear that we have been treating symptoms rather than providing a cure. The Global Food Security Act would refocus our development assistance on hunger, poverty, and rural development. It would do so by adopting a comprehensive approach to raising incomes and building the capacity of developing countries to become more food secure. I'm happy to report that the Obama administration has adopted many of these approaches in our bill. The President is proposing to double agricultural assistance, including resources for education, research, and extension. He has asked Secretary <laughs> He's asked Secretary of State Hillary Clinton to develop a global food strategy. The issue of hunger and poverty holds special importance for health. As we direct our attention to alleviating hunger and poverty, we must pay equal attention to fighting disease. The two are interrelated and require an integrated approach. It will be a challenge to make investments in foreign assistance even as we face economic difficulties here at home. But I believe Americans increasingly understand that global poverty and hunger can have consequences for the security and the well-being of the United States. We have an opportunity to recast the United States' image abroad and produce a more peaceful and productive world for our children and our grandchildren. I appreciate so very much the thoughtful contributions that you make and care to these goals every day. Thank you very much.